Okay, now in this um, final tutorial on um, Java and Eclipse, um, I just want to show you a little bit of what happens behind the scenes when using Eclipse. So first of all, let's open Eclipse. Okay, now if you remember when, when we got started, what we did is we used Eclipse to start our Java program. What we did is uh, we went File, New, Java Project, and went on from there. So um, and then what we did is in our Java project we clicked on the source code folder right clicked it created a new package all right and uh, within that package okay hello world we have a class file and we have a program file so what I want to show you is what this program looks like behind the scenes what Java what what Eclipse does for us Eclipse is a is a GUI program, a graphical user interface. What it is, it's a productivity tool that helps you, the developer, write Java programs quickly and efficiently. And it's meant to do things automatically for you to save you time. Um, and, you know, well, I guess in the working world, time is money. So let's, uh, let's have a look uh, at behind the scenes here and uh, let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. And then I'm gonna go to the folder where I save my work. Now I have a lot of I have a lot of folders here because um, you know I played around with Java a lot. Um, the one the, the program we're working on is Hello World demo. So open it. So you see here there's two folders and there's two files here that you didn't create. You did not cre you didn't create those files. Um, Eclipse did it for you. All right. So we started a new program. Now, if you look, if you go back to Eclipse, you look at it, we have a source folder, and inside the source folder we have the uh, Hello World package, and then two Java programs, which you can see right here. So let's have a look behind the scenes. So when we did that, let's have a look behind the scenes. What happens? So inside the source folder we have our package, and then we have our two Java programs, right? Now, if you open it and have a look, you know uh, I'm just using Notepad. This is what the, uh, the the Hello World class looks like, and sure enough, it's the same as here. Now you want to kind of notice that we didn't type this in. We didn't type we didn't type this in either, and we didn't type this one this uh, closing bracket. All we did is we entered this one here, the middle part. And actually, you know what? If you really wanted to, uh, and the Mark's Dexter Dexter videos are going to show you, you could actually type you could actually get. Uh, Eclipse to type this in for you as well. It's just an incredible tool uh, that that's, um, um, that uh, helps you work faster. All right. So, uh, and again, behind the scenes, if you look at this main program, okay, this main program, uh, and have look like what it looks like in Eclipse. Okay, the main program here. So again, we did not didn't type this in didn't type any of this in okay or this all we really added was uh, these few lines in here okay so you can kind of uh, have um, you can kind of imagine I guess a little bit uh, at the time you save by not having to type these things in not only that is you is if if the program does it for you it's not going to make any kind of um, spelling mistakes or uh, in those kind of errors now I, I should mention one thing here is that uh, first of all, let me close my notepad files here because I don't need them. All right. I should mention one thing here before I continue on, is that um, a lot of a lot of people uh, discourage the use of using GUI tools such as Eclipse, and the reason is because people argue that well, as as a beginner, it's it's worth it for you get, for you to type out. Uh, all these things so you, so you you know hopefully you learn what it is uh, and I totally think that that is a, a, a very very valid um, argument but uh, the reason I'm showing you Java Eclipse is that it's such it's such an incredible tool and it's free uh, that I, I just can't ignore it uh, and that being said okay everything I've done here I could basically do it by hand if I want to okay if I didn't want to use Java Eclipse, I don't have to do it. Uh, if you remember, my, actually my first tutorial is we wrote a Hello World program using Notepad and we compiled it okay, using JVAC. 
um, you might want to revert back to that old that old older video to have a look All right so you don't you don't need Java Ecli you don't need Eclipse to write a Java program you can do it all by hand if you if you have a lot of time um, a couple other things I want to show you is you notice that these two there's two files here as well what are these two files and what are they doing here well you didn't create those files so um, how did it get there well Java or sorry Eclipse created them for you when you started a new pack when you started a new program okay when you started a new program what you've done is you created these two files and if you, if you open them up okay I'm just gonna open one because the other ones quite similar you see here XML you look at this and you might say to yourself well it looks kinda familiar it kinda looks like HTML have a look at the have a look at the uh, the open tag and the close tag so class path and slash class path however if you do a HTML search for what is the what is class path you won't find it this is not HTML this is extensible markup language XML this is a um, this is also a markup language like HTML which explains why it looks kind of similar so uh, what I'd recommend you do if uh, in order to learn more about XML go to w3schools.com all right and uh, click on XML and look at all these tutorials that you can do in XML lots and lots of fun fun learning to do um, so now what I want to mention here is uh, now this is uh and the reason I'm mentioning this is just to, so you get a feel of what Eclipse really does for you and how it's used as a productivity tool. Um, these two files are basically used by Eclipse. They're not ha really nothing to do with Java, and uh, you could do you could write the exact same programs without these without having these two files. All right. So Eclipse. So you don't even need to know they they exist. You don't need to maintain it. You don't even need to open them. All right. I'm just showing it to you to show you what Eclipse does is going to do for you. Eclipse is the one that's going to use these two files uh, in, in, in your program. Eclipse is the one that maintains them. Eclipse is the one that created them. All right. And again, um, so it's a tool. It's a productivity tool. It helps you to work faster. It helps you to work more efficiently. It helps you to debug, not at the time that you want to run the program, but as you're typing. All right. And just a, just a ton of neat little features like that. And that's what a really good GUI tool will do. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the end of my tutorials and uh, the end of my lessons, I guess. And hopefully, um, you're a little bit more ready to. This is meant as kind of a little bit of a prerequisite before you start those Mark Dexter videos. Um, and the goal of this set of my set of um, Java slash Eclipse lessons is just to walk you through basically almost as fast as I can. Uh, a really simple Java, a really simple object oriented Java program using Eclipse as the development tool. Okay, I'll talk to you later.